at the views now of the former head of Royal Protection at Scotland Yard, Di Davis. Di, we just heard there um, of several counts of how these people on the, on the war memorials could have been arrested last night, outraging public decency, a breach of the peace, public nuisance. And lest we forget, we also have a desecration of war memorials bill. So why, with all of that legislation in place, do you think these arrests simply aren't happening? Well, it's a good question, as always, Martin. And uh, if I'd been there, they would have been arrested. Uh, I joined in the late 60s. I've been to more demonstrations and protests than you've had hot dinners. And they wouldn't have been tolerated in my day. I don't know what's happening. There's clear stated cases, R versus Howell, in 1982, which gives clear guidance to the police as to what they should do in such behaviour. As far as I am concerned, it is an offence under the Public Order Act, causing alarm or distress. And believe it or not, a police constable can be distressed. Certainly, I was distressed when I saw this, and certainly they would have been arrested by me. I can't stand this kind of wishy-washy kind of policing I'm seeing at the moment. And clearly, they're very different to my school. I had four years in charge of the uh, West London's Territorial Support Group before I went to royalty. And I can assure you, under my command, they would have been swifted quicker than they could have said, oh, whatever. OK, Di, that begs the very, very interesting and pertinent question then. What's changed? Well, I think it's uh, leadership at the top, really. Uh, with all respect to uh, the Commissioner, he has his view. And a great deal of his uh, chief constables uh, surrounding senior officers appear to be of the same ilk. Now, clearly, he's got a difficult job. Nobody disputes that. But I think the vast majority of us would like to see a firmer police force uh, mm. and, and to be applied to everyone, whether you're a so-called right-wing football yobs, and I'm not sure they're all right-wing. I think they're just yobs. But I would like to see clear, unequivocal leadership that if you break the law in this country, you will be arrested and you will take the consequences. And we've seen where firm action is taken, it does put people off. Uh, we're, we're watching that, there were a great deal of many who, who could have been incensed by those actions. I certainly would have been. I think it's outrageous in today's world that they can do this. I don't see any uh, banners saying, uh, let's get rid of Hamas. Mm. If any of your viewers can see one banner which any of these people show, Hamas being a criminal organization, a terrorist organization, Stop doing what you're doing, Hamas. Have you seen one banner saying that? No. And that's why. I, yesterday I listened to a former Prime Minister of Israel who says, we put up with this in the 30s. We stood idly by watching mm. people be put on trains. We will never do that again. And boy, do I agree with his sentiments. We should protect our Jewish friends and neighbours. We shouldn't tolerate this kind of abuse that's going on at the moment.